Hi folks, welcome back to another video here on Delivery Drivers Ride Sure Lines channel. <clears throat> I wanted to bring you um, a slightly different video um, today. Uh, I already put one video out, um, but I wanted to do this uh, follow-up video. Um, this was from one of my favorite channels from the past that I haven't really watched in a long time called The Next News Network. And uh, I've been watching his channel off and on for, I don't know, nine or ten years. His name is Gary Franchi, and um, he runs the the um, Next News Network. And uh, the reason I'm showing you this is because we had a, uh, you know, the country had a hurricane a few days back, if uh, some of you heard about that. Now, some of you may be living in the states that are going to be named in this video by, by Gary Franchi, uh, there's a lot of them. It's a lot of East Coast, um, Southern states. And um, a lot of you have been affected by the hurricane. And in fact, if there's any of you drivers out there in driver land <laughs> and you have been affected or you live in these areas, could you let me know in the comments? Because, you know, I feel for each and every one of these people, um, it's kind of a sad video, but I wanted to show it because uh, they're not showing stuff in the mainstream media to the point of, uh, as a matter of fact, the government's not even helping these people down there with uh, federal emer emergency management that they're supposed to. It's the same thing that happened in uh, the Katrina storm back in New Orleans when there was no help for those people. Same scenario. We have a illegitimate government running running the show and not uh, not caring about the citizens. And it's important, folks, that we have compassion and empathy, and um, we care for our fellow human beings. You know. So I wanted to run this video here. Um, let me roll it. This is Gary Franchi, and uh, he he reports on the news. You know, important news. So you may not even see some of this stuff in the main. I mean, you're not going to see this in the mainstream. He, where do you hear this, folks? <laughs> right before our eyes, that the mainstream media is barely covering it. Massive floods have swept through multiple states, leaving destruction in their wakes. Homes underwater, families displaced, entire communities in crisis. But where's our leadership? Biden's at the beach, Kamala's at fundraisers, and Americans are literally drowning. We'll show you the heart-wrenching footage that others will not air and ask the question on everyone's mind, where is the federal response? Now, folks, as we discuss this devastating flow, let's talk about another kind of relief, pain relief. Millions of Americans right, suffer me, uh, from chronic pain. Let me pause that and get up to the news. Here we go, right here. Uh, rampant looting is taking place <clears throat> right now. Eight individuals were arrested after the attempt to loot a Tennessee community that was ravaged by floodwaters. You can see them right here. Kamala has a history. Jeez, uh, I'm sorry to say, but these guys don't look like <clears throat> U.S. citizens, do they, folks? I mean, I hate to say it, but <laughs> um, anyways. Bailing out looters. Out. Will she raise money to bail out these folks, too? Former President Trump arriving in Georgia. He says the governor's doing a great job. By the way. He's having a hard time getting... That guy right there is not going to do anything for you, folks. Yeah, he's out there and he's rallying up whatever he's doing, but um, it's all a, it's all a game before your eyes. But fact is, there's all these people hurting down south, and they need real relief, and they're not getting it from the federal government. <laughs> and the president on the phone, though. <clears throat> No, he did not say. At least, at least he did show up down there. the The other two are missing in action, but uh, the good that's going to do. <laughs> I'm getting the president on the phone. I guess uh, they're not they're not being responsive. The federal government is not being responsive. But they're having a very hard time getting the uh, getting the president Folks, on know. the phone. He won't get on it. Let me know in the comments, too, if you have any family or friends that live down there that have been affected, if you have any, you know, stories to tell, because it's it's pretty, pretty severe down there. This this um, hurricane was was monstrous. <clears throat> and then I heard there's like another one coming or something pretty soon or <laughs> hopefully not.
All right, let's continue here. She's out someplace campaigning, uh, looking for money. So they got to be, they have to be focused over here. This is a really bad one. And uh, the governor's doing a good job, but he's having a hard time getting the president on the phone. They're being very non-responsive. We're also going to be going or talking with North Carolina. <laughs> trying to get them hooked up with communication they're totally closed right now north carolina has real what do you think of the leadership now in this country huh folks they're giving all this aid to ukraine and all these these countries but they won't fix and take care of the people that are that are live here <laughs> been hit hard. really really been hit hard. the hardest and you can't even get in there right now and there are a lot of people that have been injured or worse Carolina. We're working with the people in North Carolina now to get them hooked up for communication. And in the meantime, we're at Valdosta and we're, gonna, we're with the mayor and congressman and everybody else. Uh, we've uh, brought a lot of supplies. We're with Franklin Graham, who's been always fantastic in these cases. Nobody better. He uh, does with Samaritan's versus an unbelievable job. And how is it going to Samaritan's Purse, they are actively working. We're going to get uh, more information for them. But this woman, New York Post puts out, wacko former University of Kentucky staffer said Hurricane Helene was an act of God to punish Trump supporters. <laughs> Donald Trump, as you just saw, in Georgia, paying respects and bringing lots of relief material, including fuel, equipment, water, and other things to the state. Catastrophic damage. A hundred times worse than Katrina. Bodies everywhere. Unaccountable numbers of bodies trapped in cars. Thousands still missing. No federal aid. Media has been criminally silent. Death toll from Katrina. About 16. That's that's one of the reasons why I'm showing that here. Because they're not going to show you this in the mainstream media, folks. Everything is not well down in the south. Those, those uh, areas got devastated. hundred. This will be way past that. Some of the footage you can see right here, cars being swept away. I mean, bridges. I mean, whole towns completely destroyed. Huh. This is the reality for so many right now. Oh, President Trump just announced Elon Musk. He's partnering with Musk to provide Starlinks to communities across the Southeast. Listen. Turned into homes, hospitals, highways, and cars have been plunged underwater. Entire neighborhoods have been turned into lakes. Nobody's seen anything like it. And to every family that's been displaced here in Georgia and North Carolina, who's, which has really been hit, we're going there also, and uh, they don't have communication. They don't have anything right now that... There. Now think about this. If this was where you lived, let's say on the West Coast or the middle part of the country, would you not want help from someone? Uh, you know, you, you figured your federal government would come in and help, right? Apparently not. <laughs> We're trying to. I just spoke to Elon. I'm getting him. I want to, we want to get Starlink hooked up because they have no communication whatsoever. And Elon, Elon will always come through. We know that. And so we're working on that, getting them hooked. You know, it, it blows my mind. I see President Trump right there at the front of the scene where all this damage is taking place. Where's Biden? Where, where's Kamala? Trump is there. He is acting as a leader should. Our own leaders? Yeah. Completely absent. I, I, I disagree. Uh, he's playing a a acting role of the person that he's portraying, but that's, he's not on your side either. 
The only thing I give him is that he's over there, that's all. And he ain't even president yet, right? <laughs> oh, wait till you see this clip I got of Biden. Wait till you hear. You want to know where our leaders are? I'm going to show you where our leaders are. Oh, here it is. This is the clip of Biden. I'm getting to it. Here he is. Biden said there will be no additional resources. Look at this. Look at this buffoon. And um, no additional resources, right? They, they aid Ukraine. They aid Taiwan. Give money away. But they don't help the people that just got wiped out by the hurricane. That's nice. Monsters. Yes, it's tragic. As a matter of fact, we're trying to get the exact numbers. resources there's joe biden on the tarmac barely able to speak where do you where do you see some of these people that write in the comments of what's actually going on on boots on the ground check check these out Asheville, north carolina <laughs> resident says it's chaos looters everywhere people vandalizing everywhere uh, so update right now uh the biggest problem after hurricane helena is just you're not able to move uh so my friends just try to go to tennessee the roads are completely blocked off you're not getting out um we're trapped trapped in there's a lot of looters please stay safe stay inside if you have a weapon keep it on you because um there are people intentionally sabotaging stuff so huh. over in on I-40, there were some truckers coming in with supplies and medical stuff trying to help us. They stuck at a truck, st truck stop to get some rest. When they woke up, their tires were slashed. Nothing was stolen, just tires were slashed. The same thing is happening all over the place. People are intentionally just vandalizing stuff, not stealing, just vandalizing. And then there's looting happening at, yeah. in all the stores. I'll come back with an update in about five or six hours. Everyone stay safe. Stay safe out there. Samaritan's Purse, my friends. You got to support them. This is what Americans fleeing looks like. It looks like something from an apocalyptic film. <laughs> you know, when you see and those that, scenes of all the... And that was just from a storm, folks. Just from a storm. Imagine that. Cars stuck on the highway, stranded. This is, this is happening right now. This is not a Hollywood movie. Where's FEMA? Where are the government officials? There's no water. There is going to be so much more fallout from this. Huh. Donald Trump giving that press conference. This guy, a heartbroken patriot, lost all faith in his government after being displaced from his home by the recent hurricane. The United States has allocated over $16 billion to support Ukraine and Israel, leaving its own citizens. It's because the government is a bunch of psychopaths, maniacs. In deranged people that don't give a shit about the citizens. Feeling neglected and abandoned. L l listen to this man. Just wanted to jump on here and give y'all a little update. Uh, I ain't got to see it in person yet, but I've had pictures sent to me. Y'all keep me and my family in your prayers, because from what I see, I have no fucking home to go back to. <laughs> yeah, where's Kamala Harris? Here. Well, she's too busy, actually, uh, at a fundraiser. Ben Swan. Posting this, how quickly do you think we could rebuild North Carolina and Tennessee if the nearly $400 billion we sent to Ukraine could be spent here in America instead? Yeah. Look at $400 this. $400 billion sent to Ukraine, but they can't help the people in this in the hurricane uh, blasted states, you know? Absolute destruction. $2.4 in aid to Ukraine versus no more aid for Hurricane Helene. Three days apart. 
Absolutely disgraceful. A storm just wiped out entire North Carolina towns off the map and completely isolated Asheville, which has gone dark due to no internet, water, power, ways to leave. Barely seen any news about it. I'm tripping because it seems like this should be bigger news. Yeah, you think, right? Well, we're trying to do our part here. This is heart. This is a heartbreaking image. This is the last image of a wife and a husband in Asheville sheltering from the flood on a roof. The roof would soon collapse, causing them and their six-year-old grandchild to drown. The daughter and mother of the child took the photograph when the roof collapsed. She got wedged and died. Oh, my God. <sighs> the water receded at Biltmore Village today, revealing the devastation. Dan Whitaker says he's been in the area many times and was not, it was not recognizable. This is the devastation. Tons of Americans doing exceptional work to help their fellow Americans, despite the fact that virtually all levels of government above the municipal level are doing absolutely nothing. You hear that? All the citizens have all banded together to try to help and the municipalities, but the federal government, even the state government's not even there. <laughs> People bringing in helicopters to provide relief. Jeez, I thought that's what your taxes are supposed to pay for, folks, that for times like this, huh? You, know, you think you were lied to? <laughs> you should watch a movie or a documentary called Freedom to Fascism by Aaron Russo, and that'll tell you, that'll explain a whole lot to you. <laughs> Entire roads washed out, people without a way to get out of their driveways, no power, little, no communication, federal government doing nothing. And our media, media is barely acknowledging this disaster. This person states, I need people to understand something with the news coverage regarding effects of Hurricane Helene. There's a lot more to the North Carolina mountains in Nashville, Boone, Bowling Rock. He goes through all these different counties. They're devastated and needed the same help. Some even more other counties fall under various definitions of Western North Carolina. Western North Carolina holds 11% of the state's population. There are millions of people up there with no electricity, no communication, and no water, no way to get out or let rescue teams even know where they are. Huh. Wow. And, of course, uh, a lot of people are saying, well, it's because FEMA has a specific goal. <laughs> yeah, for everyone mm -hmm. to be dead. It's um, instill equity as a foundation of emergency management. Meanwhile, Tim Walls is trying to raise money at the same time the Southeast is devastated by massive flash floods. Meanwhile, the community got together and decided we were going to clear the bridge because we didn't see any activity from the government. Residents of Tennessee cleared bridges themselves to free the stranded neighbors. Huh. Kylie Kane Kramer reacting to this post from Tim Walls. All gas, no brakes. We'll sleep when we're dead. That was posted by Tim Walls 22 hours ago. She says, I can't believe you just posted this when people are literally, literally dying in Western North Carolina, Tennessee, Georgia, and South Carolina. Over a thousand people missing, 30 people dead, and you're saying people can sleep when we're dead? Huh. Disgraceful. Wow. <laughs> on top of all this, on top of all this, we have this massive disaster, and there is nearly half of U.S. shipping is going to be shut down tomorrow, Tuesday. Now, this US video, East Coast, this video was from from yesterday, and I just caught it today. But today is the first, so I guess the shipping uh, uh, and ends today, and uh, we'll see how that pans out. If you haven't seen the video I did uh, earlier today. On the 1st of October, just check it out. It's the one right before this one. Um, 
it just says shutdowns on it or port ports closing something like that i can't remember the exact uh title but anyways let's continue we're almost done here port strike set to start on tuesday harrison smith says hope you're stocked up <laughs> jd vance heartbroken by the devastation please say a prayer for everyone affected by the storm Gunter Eagleman. Biden approves $567 million in aid for North Carolina yesterday. <laughs> no, just kidding. That was for Taiwan. They're more concerned with huh. overseas adventures than the people here at home that need it. It's unbelievable. Yep. President Trump calls out Kamala Harris for fundraising while many parts of our country are being devastated. Why is lion Kamala Harris in San Francisco, a city she's totally destroyed at fundraising events when big parts of our country are devastated and underwater? American trucker 16 hours ago, just got off the phone with a trucker pal, told me there were zero FEMA loads on any load boards. He uses zero. In the history of natural disasters, these load boards are full, yet for this event, zero. No FEMA loads going out. Huh. That means no emergency relief for any of these places that got flooded. Look at these houses, folks. Like, look at these houses. They're all underwater. Where the hell is the help? <laughs> no money for you. Sorry, we gave it all to Ukraine. Ron DeSantis, meanwhile authorizing the Florida National Guard to send air assets to North Carolina in support of their hurricane response. Ukraine first, America last. Health Ranger posting 780,000 homes have no power in South Carolina alone. Many countries across North Carolina, Tennessee, Georgia, have literally 100% power outages, no power, not a single household, no cell service, nothing. Oh, Mario Nafal, 153 people unaccounted for in flood hit Tennessee. Meanwhile, massive strike is about to hit the East Coast. 36 ports, a major supply chain disruption at the worst possible time. Yep. International Longshoremen Association announced plans for a, a strike at all Atlantic and Gulf Coast ports starting October 1st. Texas Betty, we are in desperate need of more local volunteers in North Carolina to do wellness checks and supply drops in accessible areas. I had a clip here that I saved for you guys from Samaritan's Purse. I think this is it. Yeah in Asheville, North Carolina. Homes and buildings swept away by raging floodwaters that have submerged the town. It's beyond anything I've ever seen in my lifetime. Parts of the town not underwater, completely cut off. Somebody on a Facebook post said something about having to fly out of Asheville because you can't drive out of Asheville. That extreme? Yeah. With no power and no cell service, crowds formed outside this hotel, one of the only places in town with working Wi-Fi. We've been just trying to get on as much as we can and either get an email or a text out and just let everybody know that we're okay. We met up with Cindy Tran, her forever home, a self-described oasis ravaged by the cresting French Broad River nearby. The water came up so quick, um, halfway up to the second floor. We thought the way it just kept rising so fast, it was going to get to the second floor. To the second floor. So that's where, after it receded, it must have been way higher than that. Holy crap. So we had to get out. A similar scene in the town of Chimney Rock, virtually wiped off the map by floodwaters. Holy Chimney crap. Firebridge gone. Meanwhile, the heavy rains triggering a massive mudslide that washed out this stretch of I-40, a major highway connecting western and eastern parts of the state. One bit of good news, two dams that were in danger of collapse, the Nolichucky and Lake Lord dams, now appear to be okay as water levels slowly recede. Huh. I gotta find that clip for you guys. I, I, I thought I had saved it here. Oh yes, here it is. Okay, this, if you guys want to help, 
SamaritansPurse.org or SPVolunteer.org. Uh, this is very important, my friends. Foster lives. The east coast of the United States just got decimated by Hurricane Helene. And normally up here in the mountains of North Carolina, we don't feel the effect. A lot of damaged homes, people have lost their lives here in this community in the high country. Our community set up for blizzards. We're not set up well for floods. And so uh, it, it's really catastrophic damages. The road that we're on here, it's a uh, bridges out on the other end, and our slide has got a block to this end. Those people, none of them can get out. There's probably, I would say, at least 50 homes or more in there. If you can help somebody, help Just bless them. Purse is responding. We're sending equipment up here, and volunteers will be going out this Monday. Imagine this: private organizations. Thank God for them. They have to come out and help, and the government can't do it. And they they just they tax the shit out of everyone and take all their money, but do nothing for the citizens. <laughs> they just use your money for for their own means and what fighting foreign wars and everything else. But they don't care about the citizens. <laughs> to help in this community but this is not the only place we've responded well, you can't depend on them for nothing folks you gotta be you gotta try to be self-sufficient and do your own things banner elk they're out of water they're out of food so we just delivered one load of water to them in the next couple days we're going to be moving more water more food baby formula we are outside Wataga Hospital to offer a oxygen service to those that have lost access to oxygen at their homes. The medical system here and also in nearby Avery County at our Linville Hospital, they've asked for help. And so as we deploy our teams to help recover from these floods and help dig out homes and cut trees back, we're also helping medically. I'm just really grateful for the partnership with Samaritan's Purse to have a little hope in our community about 12 hours after what could have been probably the most, most devastating thing that we've probably seen in our lifetime. Nobody wants to live through a disaster like this, but one of the interesting things is disaster brings us together in a powerful way. So would you please pray for those gospel opportunities, bringing people together in the name of Jesus to serve and to help Amen. and bring the gospel. And that's why our volunteers go out. They want to serve and love others, but they want to serve in the name of Jesus Christ. So if you want to get involved, go to SamaritansPurse.org and sign up. SamaritansPurse.org. Sign up there, friends. Biden, Harris, completely AWOL, Donald Trump right there on the front lines, Samaritan's Purse on the front lines, long before any federal relief. So there you have it. While our so-called leaders vacation and fundraise, real Americans are suffering. The footage we've shown you isn't just shocking. It's a damning indictment of an administration that's lost touch with the people it's supposed to serve. But here's what we need to ask ourselves. Is this neglect, incompetence, or something more sinister? <laughs> I think I think what, all, all the above. <laughs> we as citizens do to help our fellow Americans in need. Samaritanspurse.com is one way. All right. So anyways, folks, that's about it uh, that I have for you for this video. I wanted to play it because it was important. Um, you know what I mean? Let me know in the comments if you live in any one of those states, what your situation is. Are you, uh, if you are delivering out in these states, have it has it resumed or are you at a complete halt? You know, because <laughs> the whole East Coast there's lots of drivers, gig workers, and there are all kinds of different workers. But are you out of work because of this? Let me know in the comments, folks. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you guys and gals on the next one. Take care.